Well, we're delighted to be working on the Olympic Transformation Project, particularly on a sunny day with all that sunlight coming through the Marlon CS corrugated panels. And we've got 56 bays of polycarbonate roof light floating almost magically above this stadium, and it's fantastic to see it in the sunlight. Well, the design of the new roof is, is quite uh, extraordinary. It's a cantilever roof. It's suspended by cables, and when complete, it will be the largest cantilever roof of its kind in the world. It consists of a rear roof which is insulation and a membrane which is heat welded. The front roof is a polycarbonate roof which provides for light to enter the, the field of play, the sports area. And there are various access hatches which are also bespoke. Uh, there's a lot of weathering detail to do, particularly where the cables come through the roof where they support the structure itself. So there's, there's very many considerations. It wasn't in any way, shape or form straightforward. Brett Martin was specified because very early on in the, in the design stages of the project, the client actually wanted um, various shades of grey polycarbonate sheeting. And Brett Martin were one of the very few suppliers that were able to accommodate that. As the project developed, that changed to uh, completely clear polycarbonate, which is what we're now installing. Brett Martin were really pleased to be asked to supply the polycarbonate for this project. Not only is this such a famous building and you know, already everybody in the country knows about it, but it's a fantastic piece of structural architecture as well. You can see, looking around, there's not a single stanchion anywhere. We've got 56,000 seats, all of them protected from the elements, and yet it looks like daylight out there and I'm told the noise is going to be fantastic when the crowd roars because it's all contained under this, under this floating roof. One of the other considerations, one of the primary considerations, is the, the ease of installation. And the sheeting is relatively easy to install. As long as the pre-installation works are carried out well, in other words, the marking out of the positions on the steel, any ancillaries that are prepared, for example, butyl tape, which is a, a weatherproofing, uh, tape which goes to the joins and laps of the sheets and so far we've been very very productive. We had to work out our own methodology, we found a way that works and we found a way that's effective and so now the productivity is where we need it to be and we're, we're looking good to uh, meet the target. Yeah this uh, project wasn't without its challenges to Brett Martin. We've got basically a circular roof and it's divided up into 56 different sections but because it's circular the outside edge of each section is wider than the than the inside edge and that means all the sheets have got to be taper cut and because of restrictions on site here we're not allowed to do any of the cutting on the roof so all the positions for every sheet have to be measured up precisely in advance they're all cut now in the factory and then delivered to site ready to be installed now that really is quite a challenge because there's about four and a half thousand of them up there and each one has its own unique position and there's very few that are the same. So working with Lakesmere we had to develop a, a, a numbering system that would allow a label on each sheet to identify specifically where it went. And when they're delivered to site, each pallet's got its own label so that it can be put in the right part of the roof and each sheet within that pallet goes straight to its location. And that's really to help the installers stick to a tight schedule so that here we are today, um, we can see that the, the, the installation work's finished on time. Yeah, the technical support that we received from Brett Martin was absolutely first class. Particular praise has to be given to Bill, Bill Hawker, who was very, very hands-on straight from the outset. Brett Martin also provided a Excel spreadsheet where all the cutting schedules for the sheets were issued to us, which helped us to maximise profit from the standpoint of minimising the waste on the cutting of the sheets. And that was very, very helpful to us. And as I say, the information that I've got from our de design department throughout the project has been that they've been very, very impressed with the assistance that Brett Martin have given us during the course of the design and installation of this project. We've worked on a number of other stadia, like Wembley and Manchester City, the Emirates, uh, and it's really good to see this one nearing completion with 21,000 square metres of roof lights up there. Um, and I think one of the things that Brett Martin can really offer 
is the ability to work closely with our partners like on this project Balfour Beatty and Lakesmere to deliver a really bespoke solution.